Yo, what up? Blast furnace, or ass move. I don't even know what this site means. Pended king. Man, and this death of the scorn, or death by scorn, or whatever it's called. I don't even. I don't know. I just like the burst sidearms, and I want to use blast furnace in a burst sidearm, so we're using this one. Um, nothing too exemplary, nothing too crazy. I've been trying to get a nice gameplay for this uh, combo. A couple of matches now. Hopefully, this is the one. If not, we'll probably use the Solitude one. That was quite quite straightforward. I think I demonstrated pretty fucking good. Uh, I don't ever, 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 ever condone pushing out this way, because that's very, it's a very suicidal push, as you just seen. And because that happens, unfortunately for me, I clambered the fucking wall there. I don't know how I did that or why or anything. But yeah, don't ever push out that way because that happens. I like clambered this bush. I don't even I don't even know how that happened. Like we're just gonna pretend like that death never happened, honestly. That's a little two burst there, that was pretty insane. So again, we just focus entirely and play the role of an anchor, especially in this position. Players want two things, kills and flags, and well, unfortunately I didn't realize that the guy on that side of the map died or rotated or whatever. Whoops. Maybe he died, and like, I just completely missed it. I think I might have just like completely overlooked it. Again, not camping or anything, we're holding the role of an anchor. It's definitely a fine line to tread on, but... As you see, I'm pushing forward here. I'm gonna rotate back. Oh, really, really low health, and they're gonna be spawning there. You see, I'm holding a strong position in the midpoint of the map. Not actually breaking a spawn or anything like that, we're just holding a good position in the midpoint of the map. There's a sneaky little window you guys can try at home. Rotate over towards the sea flag. We can control the bridge here. Nice little two burst. Nice little two burst. Unfortunate. I thought teammate would have at least meleeed him or something. But yeah, that's a that's a good example, you know, is like holding them in the spawn point. Just took the lead. And instead of like breaking their spawn or breaking our spawn, just holding them in the spawn point. And just making sure that my team doesn't get kind of snowballed. Imagine we actually mapped that. That would have been legendary. I can't believe he lived though, man. Holy shit. Okay, I had like negative one health points. When it was all said and done. Again, this is something else I don't condone, and I'm doing it because it's a very, 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 very rare situation where two people push the fucking red out, like the red bridge. And I find myself in a position where I know where most of the enemy team's at. But never ever, like, challenge that bridge or super on that bridge or anything like that. It was, again, one of those very, very, like, one in one million situations. And I... That, those odds are probably not, like, too far off. Like, too far removed or anything like that. Kobe? I'm gonna rotate back a little bit, mainly because I know that that guy had a... Uh, there's two snipes and a shoddy pushing me. And spare rations, and I just don't want to deal with that with the blast furnace. I'm gonna get spammed down out of range or pass range. We got him. Oh no! I have to do some very, very good movement here. Uh, unfortunately, I took too long. I clambered exactly where he clambered right there, so it stalled my movement by a little bit. I think our best bet is actually we can try and catch this guy here. We catch this guy, and we just go through the lift now. I think we should be okay to go through this lift and just fight. Zone 
I didn't get the assist for that. Okay. You know, I did like all the damage. Oh, I slid and he hit me with the snipe. Dude, that's pretty insane. I think he was going for the super. And he just got like a really crazy shot off. Gotta help out the teammates. Your opponents are gaming on you. Jump up here. Check it out. Use our range to our advantage. Pay attention to what's going on. There's two on the right there. Probably two. One or two on the left. One coming through the middle bridge. So we know that this right side over at A is probably pretty low in uh, manpower. And we want to be really careful. We have to land the first burst like with a lot of time clearance or else we just lose to these beloveds. So, Because that's just how it is. Just like that. Like we have to have first burst advantage by quite a bit of a time window. Or a margin of time. So I'm going to take a step back here so that they spawn on C. Now they should start spawning back there. Or even back here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I kind of fucked it up by looking in that direction. Whoops. But it's okay, because they'll, they'll be like over here and on B. So we can maybe use the, uh, the window of confusion to score some free kills. No. Okay, I got bailed out, fortunately. Ah, oh, rip. Mind benders. I should have expected it. I think that would have been a two burst either way. I got a bail. Hand cannon just does too much damage output for me. Especially at this range. Oh, March of Vengeance, that's why you knew to nade that. I was like, wow, that was a really smart nade to throw. Uh, we're coming up on another super here. I'm just gonna dump it down middle here. Again, not something I would condone or like recommend doing like this, but you know, I've got the efficacy as a storm colored buff though. So. And, and a lot of luck too. That's something else to consider. How lucky are you? I think that there's people going to start lifting over here. Yeah. I'm a couple seconds on my uh, arc bolt, so. Three minutes remaining. Double down. really focused on not dying right now, sorry. So then Tyler, we boiled down to target prioritization. I knew that that guy, one of those guys, was like pretty weak player, like this guy right here. So I just focused him down, or I like turned away and focused the more important guy who I figured was going to hit his shots. Really good survivalism there for me, by me for a while. Really, really, really good survival by me. Um, a good instinct, really. And then I proceed to jump off the map. Actually, I could clamber this. Nope. I didn't think I was gonna bounce there, or like kind of bonk. Oh, whatever, it happens. There could be someone sniping around here, so I gotta be really careful about my movement. I'm gonna challenge a little blue hall here. I think I win it. There's no one there. They're all towards C. We won. Brian Evo with the GWK with a hot shotgun. Let's go, Brian Evo. You're a wall around those zones. Gotta re queue immediately. Let's see what uh what we did. Not bad. 36, 4.5. We'll take it. We'll take it. Not a bad match. Nice little 2v, 2v6 pretty much there. 2v5. Not bad, not bad. We'll take it.